Yo, before we get to the video, if you spend too much time scrolling on social media and actually want to learn how to use your phone in a productive way, there's a free community with a full course about how to break your social media addiction and start taking back control of your life. Now, with that being said, let me ask you a question. I want you to think back to the last time that you scrolled on social media, whenever that may have been. Now, can you tell me three of the reels or TikToks or whatever they were, can you tell me three of them, what actually happened in them? What were they about? I'm gonna guess that you probably can. Now compared to that, I want you to think back to the last time you read a book, whether that was 10 years ago or was it for school. Tell me five things that you learned from that book. I'm gonna guess that you can probably tell me something that you learned from that book. And this is the phenomenon that so many people get caught up with in scrolling. We see all this information and it feels kind of nice while we're doing it, but eventually we just keep scrolling and we don't even know why we're doing it. And it comes at the cost of our attention span, our focus, and it makes us perform worse at everyday life because we're used to always seeing all this content and all this information. So when it comes time to actually do something where we need to focus, our focus is much worse because the task that we're doing isn't as stimulating as just scrolling on social media. Now, in terms of breaking a social media addiction, there's a lot of different things that you can do and a lot of things that will benefit you. But one of the primary things that really helped me to actually start getting away from it was to start changing the kind of content that I was consuming. Instead of just watching all these random YouTube videos about things that were entertaining but didn't actually have any benefit for my life, I started watching videos about topics that I was genuinely interested this started with weightlifting and fitness content. I was learning about nutrition, I was learning about different workout splits, how to exercise properly, and learning a lot of different things about something I was still interested in that was actually having a benefit to my life because through consuming that content, I could actually become a better weightlifter, I could get in better shape, I could be, I could eat a better diet because I was consuming things that were actually having a benefit to me. If you're watching a video like this, I'm gonna guess that you've consumed kind of some self-improvement videos or things about how to beat your phone addiction. Now, with this, there is also a balance. You can't just sit here and watch all these videos about all these topics and not do anything about it in your life. That's the other thing. Knowledge isn't really worth anything unless you apply it into your life. You need to take action and you need to be willing to implement the things that you learn in a video like this into your life and actually start implementing these habits to see progression from them. Because if you don't, you will not see any progress. You can't just watch these videos and expect something to happen. You need to be willing to take action and apply these things that you learn because that's where you really learn about them. You can be learning something from this video, but if you don't go apply the steps into your everyday life, nothing's gonna change for you. And the other way to consume content is through books. It's through reading, it's through conversations. It's through adopting this mindset of becoming a learner from life. Life is always trying to teach you things. You just need to be willing to actually go explore them because the answers to the questions that you have, they are out there, they are in the books. People have gone through their whole life and have put their whole life into the book and you can go learn from it. You just need to be willing to change the way that you consume content because through scrolling, you're still consuming information. You're still having input into your brain, but if you can change that to something that you can actually then go apply into your life, you will actually start to see progress in the things that you want to. Now, with that being said, my name is Kobe Wallace. I'm an 18 year old artist from Canada, currently traveling in Australia. And if you like videos like this and wanna learn more about how to beat your phone addiction, you should subscribe. I have a lot more videos like this coming soon and it's a win for you, it's a win for me. Like I said before, if you wanna join the free community on how to beat your phone addiction, but actually start learning how to use social media in a way that's beneficial to your life, again, free community in the description. My original music is also linked in the description. And with that being said, never stop creating my friend and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.